Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to get the lost inserted auto ID value in PHP using remote database of PHP my admin for my SQL server. I'm using Notepad++. Right now in this PHP page, it contains only HTML5 code with some four input text boxes, one button control. Let's save this file. We'll check the output, how it looks the designing part on the browser. And this is the output of the code, which contains four input boxes, one button control. When a new user registers the sign up, I want to get the message only the last auto ID value only from the database. Before writing the coding part, let's log into my GoDaddy MySQL server. We'll check the database name, table, and the column names. I'm signed into my GoDaddy account. I just logged into my GoDaddy PHP My Admin. I'm expanding the MySQL DB, which is a user database. For this example, I'm using user register. Let's browse the table. And this user register table contains some data, one, two, three. Aim is when a new user inserted a record in user register table, I want to get the message that newly inserted record is four. Now it's time to write the coding part. Uh, about the doc type, I'm writing the PHP code, PHP. I'm closing the PHP tag, dollar, host name, dollar, username, dollar, database name, dollar, password. When we want to connect the local PC, we will write the host name local. But when we are trying to connect the remote database, we need the proper IP address of this server. Let's get back to my PHP my admin. We will grab the connection details. To find the remote database of PHP my admin, notice in the server, this is the IP address, is a host name. Just ignore 3306. Only we need the IP address only. And the database I'm using MySQL DB and the table is user res. Let's get back to the coding part. We'll finish the rest of the code. The IP address. Here the username, I'm giving the username only. And the password is the password. Just for the security reasons, I am not mentioning my real credentials, username and password. But at the time of uploading this page into my remote server, I will change into my real credentials. So next one is a DB name, which is my SQL DB. After that, dollar con is equals to. I'm using the method my SQL underscore connect method, which takes the parameters. This one, the host name. And the second parameter is a username. Copy this. Paste here. And the third one is a password. And the fourth one is a database. This one. Or die. Connection failed. If is set dollar underscore post between the single quotes, I'm adding the input button submit name dollar u name is equals to dollar underscore post between the single quotes the input text username which is a u name copy it i required four and the second one is the user id copy it paste here and paste here and the third one is the password paste here paste here and the last final one is an email paste and paste 
after declaring the column variables now I need the SQL query is equals to here I am writing the insert statement insert into the table name is a user reg and the column names name user id password email values now we require these variables here username user id password and the last one is the email and this must be in the single quotes let's close this column if dollar connection query method dollar sql the query statement here table equals to true echo the new inserted id is dot dollar connection in php mysql to get the last inserted id value according to the php documentation the inserted id value returns the auto generated id used in the latest query insert underscore id this one after that else i think this is extra one echo not inserted double quotes the last one is and the final one connection we need to close and here we forgot a single code let's save this file we'll check the final output I'm reloading the browser now I'm entering the details Peter P123 and the password email id is peter123 at gmail.com before I sign up what was the lost id value in my table so we have three records so when I insert a new record I have to get the message the newly inserted id values for so sign up see here it is the new inserted id is 4 let's check in the database again i'm browsing see here see now we got the last inserted value for username peter that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos